Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I wanna take a look at this Rule Breakers team number one that you see right here. And I wanna talk about possibly investing in these cards because I think these cards present another opportunity for price rise as we head out of this week as promo cards in this game continue to be great risers out of packs in most cases because so many people are upgrading and using these promo cards because they're bored of using the gold cards, right? The gold cards that are so cheap that everybody can attain because everything is so cheap this year in this game. I wanna talk about, again, that gap and these promo cards fitting into that gap between the casual, just your, you know, Bruno Fernandez, your good solid cards, but there's such a big gap between good solid cards and the elite tier. And these cards, these promo ones just fit right there in that middle. And that's why I think there's so much demand for them, especially this year uh, or above other years in this game. So I wanna talk about investing in some of these cards and what to expect today, Wednesday on the game, new team of the week, probably more market drop, right? Wednesdays are always the day when we see the market turn downwards, right after 6 p.m. UK as people get ready for that division rivals rewards time frame. I wanna talk about that and look at some team of the week predictions for some content for today on Wednesday. So if you're enjoying the videos, make sure to hit a thumbs up and of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's get into it. First thing is first, we do have a little update uh, today. We have a little update in terms of a title update, another one, right? It seems like we're getting these every single week at this point on this game. We have title update number three. This is probably not gonna be out on the consoles, Xbox or PlayStation until next Tuesday, but I'll leave a link to this down below in the description if you wanna check out the update notes for this. I haven't even read through it yet, but it's down there. Let's talk about this Rule Breakers team, right? Because these are the cards that are in packs and their prices have dropped, right? Yesterday on Tuesday, we had the UEFA marquee matchups, which is 100% what we were expecting. We also had the Kevin Prince Boateng SBC. I might say a quick word about that. I think that's a cool card, right? Not a bad SBC card, really good price. I don't mind that content from EA Sports. I, I nailed that as a GG. I think that's a GG SBC, just not the most popular uh, item to be released. But let's talk about these cards because again, as we talked about, these cards have been very popular throughout this week. Trent Alexander-Arnold, 21,000 games, right? A lot of what we do when we look at cards to invest in out of packs is we look at what alternatives there are in the game right now, what these cards link to, what is hyped. Like right now, people are still using Premier League links with the Conte SBC, the Bernardo Silva, right? There's a lot of Premier League links seem to be hyped. Serie A links seem to be pretty hyped. And, you know, even, even some of your um, La Liga links seem to be pretty hype at the moment. So I want to talk through which of these cards I think could rise up and, you know, how long of a term will they rise up? Will they continue to rise up for like the next three, four weeks? Will it be a short rise just this weekend? And when to buy these cards? Because it's I think we're getting close to that buy window, especially as we look at a guy like Trent Alexander-Arnold, who on Monday was 217,000 coins with the Hero SBC, dropped with mostly panic, but a little bit of supply down to 190K and rose back up to almost 220 on both consoles. And now he's chilling at 200,000 coins. This is the same exact type of, I guess you could say schedule, that we saw with the Road to the Knockouts team number one. Those cards, if you remember, like Andrew Robertson, who was down at 170K on like Wednesday and Thursday before shooting up into the weekend with those links and with the rarity of his card that he had. I think there's some cards this week that will have some nice rises out of packs. And again, as I see these prices kind of staying a little bit lower than what they were earlier in the week, I think there's potential today on Wednesday and tomorrow on Thursday for some buys on these cards. Now let's talk about which ones would be the potential best ones to invest in. Again, I think you wanna go off of rarity, popularity, and hype, right? The two cards that I clicked on already, Alexander Arnold and Rudiger, I think are very hyped up cards. Rudiger is just basically the first special prem center back that we have. Um, you know, everybody uses a Varane and Van Dyke as a prem center back. This guy is kind of next up, right? He's, he's honestly, some people are saying better than Varane in this game. He has glowing reviews. And again, one thing we look out for in terms of hype are the thumbs up on Footbin and the number of games played 16,000 games played for Rudiger. I think Alexander Arnold and Rudiger 21,000 for Trent. Um, maybe along with this on Yeka, 17,000. I think those are going to be some of the highest numbers that you see from this team. I mean, Rip Art might have a lot too, but he's so, wow, only 5,000 games played. Never mind. That just shows you how much the casual user base kind of values that card. 
Uh, but if you click through a lot of this team, you can see which ones are the most hyped. And it's those Premier League guys, right? It's those Premier League guys that people are just putting into their teams. Trent, Onyeka, Rudiger. Those guys are the ones that are being used the most. Zakaria with only 3,000 games. Uh, Holland probably doesn't have as many. 12,000 though, still pretty good. Usually this game's number is a lot lower for the higher tier cards on this game. Although Usman has got 19,000 to what? That's crazy, right? A lot of games played with him as a very popular card. But I think there's plenty. Those ones that we just looked at, there's plenty of these cards that I think will rise out of packs. Again, I'm th I think you're looking for the Thursday marquee matchups time frame and maybe for your Holland and your Dembele. Those might be buys closer to like, if there's a huge drop on these cards tonight. Again, Holland has been panic sold multiple nights in a row. If you remember Monday, I bought some down here at the late night at like 670,000 coins. I ended up selling these cards at like 730K. This guy just moves, right? 685, back up to 730, down to 700, back up to 785 on Monday. Tuesday, Holland didn't move as much. He just kind of slowly dropped and he's in the low seven, uh, 700s, I guess. He was 717 and is now kind of risen back up to 750. So not a lot of profit in that fluctuation, but those rare cards like Holland and like Dembele, um, those are going to be the cheapest when there's panic selling, right? Because they're not going to be impacted with supply as much uh, as some of the other items would be. Now, I do think this Dembele card is going to be one that rises out of packs. He's down literally almost 100,000 coins. He was two, he was 930. 930k early Tuesday and with a little bit of supply and also just people selling this card in preparation for rewards and preparation for stuff happening later on this week. I think this guy's card was a little bit overpriced in general. His price has definitely come down a little bit. So I would watch Holland and Dembele specifically um, tonight with Rivals Rewards and heading into that, right? We always see on Wednesdays, the market gets sold off. If you, if you always take a look at the market index 100 on Wednesdays, literally right at 6 p.m., you see a drop just like we saw yesterday because of the, su the supply with UEFA marquee matchups. The mar index 100 went from 76 points down to 70. I expect almost that same kind of drop, maybe not as drastic today on Wednesday, but more of just a straight decline into the evening because of the rivals rewards that are going to be coming out tomorrow. So that could be a great time to pick up on some of these uh, rule breaker cards. Uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold, again, Rudiger, Onyeka. I think these cards are going to be buys between tonight and between the Friday morning time frame. And I do think these cards rise up, specifically with this Trent. There's going to be a lot of hype on this card. And a lot of people are going to be saying you should invest in Trent. Because one card that we are expecting to come out very soon is uh, a Mohamed Salah player of the month. And this would be the ideal card to link, obviously, to a Mohamed Salah player of the month. Now, of course, the voting isn't even out yet for player of the month Premier League. But that should be released pretty soon. And once that voting gets released, you're going to see a lot of people start to look into this trend card as a potential item to invest in as a link to that Salah card. So one thing I will note as well is that, you know, we've seen a lot of promo cards rise out of packs, road to the knockouts. Again, the Rabo card is our number one example of an item who went from 200, he went from 175,000 coins up to 300K where he is now based off of a rarity of these cards. The Road to the Knockout cards had such a lower percentage pack weight than any other promo card in this game so far. Now, the Rule Breakers have a decently low pack weight. It's lower than ones to watch, but higher than Road to the Knockouts. But I still think that there are Rule Breakers in this team, again, like the ones that we've pointed out, that will be investments and that will rise a little, a little bit out of pack. So if these are cards that you want in your team for this weekend, I think I would honestly be looking to get these guys and watch them rise out of packs uh, in, in this weekend, I think, you know, Saturday, Sunday into Monday, unless we have some stupid, insane content like an Icon SBC, an Icon SBC or like an Mbappe flashback. Those are things that are ru rumors still to be kind of circling around. I really don't know about that Mbappe flashback. The Icon SBC, I do think is going to be coming soon and that will cause a lot of a market crash. But until we get to that point. Uh, people are going to try out these new rule breaker cards this weekend. So you have a green light from me if you want to buy one for your weekend league team or just buy one with the perspective that it could rise this weekend as we get rule breakers team number two for the second half of this promo week. So I'm going to be keeping an eye on some of these cards as well. And if you're somebody who is a little bit more speculative, again, Coates and Barcusen, those could be cards. Buy one, put it on the transfer list if you want to. They're close to discard, but not quite discard a lot of people are investing in these because they think they're going to be required 
for SBCs like they required road to knockouts. Again, not 100% sure on that. Now, let's transition into talking about today, Wednesday, FIBA 22 Ultimate Team, what's going to be going on. First things first, Team of the Week. Honestly, it's not looking like it's going to be a crazy end to this week on FIFA. It really is not. We've had a crazy beginning with the Hero Upgrade Pack yesterday on Tuesday, was pretty quiet, right? You wait for marquee matchups. We had the Kevin Prince Boateng SBC. Um, and a lot of people are just getting ready for the Vinny Jr. Team of the Week today. His Team of the Week card, I've been trading with it recently. It has a lot of fluctuations because there's a lot of people that have been panic selling this. Look at this, 4 million games on a Team of the Week 1 card. 240,000 coins after he was 360K. I mean, depending on how much this Vinny Jr. is packed today, it's, it's going to be very, very interesting. You can see, look at Vinny Jr. down to 232, back up to 250, down to 230 again, back up to 250. This guy keeps fluctuating in price based off of panic selling and based off of people uh, stopping that panic sell and the card just naturally bouncing back up. I think that an 85 Vinicius Jr. today, he is in both of the Team of the Week predictions. Notice that neither... Neither of these Team of the Week predictions include Cristiano Ronaldo. So if you're somebody that has the Ronaldo, um, if you've got the Cristiano Ronaldo ones to watch card, I would be taking a look at cashing this out. The dude is 3.1 at the moment, especially after his big game uh, yesterday, scoring the 90th plus two equalizer for Man U. Uh, I would cash this card out 100% at the moment. I mean, I think this card is getting rare at the moment. 2.7 on Xbox, which is not up. He was 2.9 at one point. It's up a little bit, I guess. But this card, just due to rarity, is up. If he does get in Team of the Week today, I mean, this this card is probably going to go up a little bit more. But if you bought this Ronaldo earlier in the week, I mean, yeah, he was 2.5 mil and is now up to 3.1. I would be looking at taking the cash on this card uh, because he is not in any of the Team of the Week predictions. But this is a Team of the Week as you look. Carrasco, Vinny Jr., Diego Carlos. It looks pretty La Liga heavy, but there's a couple good cards in here. Reese James could have a really nice right back card. That could be the only thing that could impact a Trent Alexander-Arnold investment today would be if Reese James gets a cracked looking card in Team of the Week. Uh, Di Maria is in this as well. It's a nice a nice card. The only ones to watch that is in most predictions is Joaquin Correa. As again, you see here, here in Footbin's prediction. Uh, and Reese James is in Footbin's prediction as well. So that's one caveat, I guess, the Trent card is that you might have a Reese James getting released. But again, if people are investing for links to Salah, then uh, James only get a weak link, not a strong link to Salah uh, with the, the team there, of course, providing the green link. But this Vinny Jr. card, the 83 rated inform is going to be a really interesting one to watch today. Now, last week with Team of the Week 4, we talked about a lot of um, Team of the Week packs that were going to be opened. Sorry, Team of the Week 6, not Team of the Week 4. We, we had a lot of Team of the Week packs that were opened to day one, right? Remember, we bought a Talls at like 19,000 coins. He went up to 27,000 coins. Uba Makano was, you know, people were investing in him, but he was getting supplied so much at the same time that he didn't actually rise. Salah went down to like low... 780 went back up to 900 just off of rarity i think there are some saved up team of the week packs today but not as many as there were for team of the week six because some people have been opening their team of the week packs this past weekend to try to get salah up Meccano, cards like that they're still decent value and without a ronaldo looking like he might be in the team of the week this week i don't think there's as many people saving but again you see a lot of cards in here carrasco we have two Two left wings, left mids from the La Liga, uh, both providing some, you know, potentially good looking cards. Carrasco, 86 with 90 pace. Vinny, if they give Vinny Jr. 80 shot, again, if they give this Vinny Jr. card 80 shot, I think it's very possible that his new inform today could be somewhere around 500,000 coins. People are going to want to go out and try that card out. It's going to be interesting to see where this inform goes to, to see if that new card is so expensive that people will uh, go and buy the, the first inform because they think the second one's too expensive. It all depends on the supply. Today. That's going to be a call that we make on uh, in the spur of the moment, if you will. Uh, but I'm very curious to see how the team week is expected today. The Correa, uh, this Correa wants to watch. I would sell this guy in the hype 100%. We don't really hold wants to watch cards uh, after they get their upgrade. Also, it'll be very interesting today to see if TikTok Tamori if TikTok Tamori, who is at 91,000 coins, he hit 100K at his max after they won on the weekend. Uh, see if this card gets upgraded today because this is the first item to hit the five win wins to watch threshold. Now, EA didn't really tell us when these are going to get upgraded, but 
if they would end up doing this on Wednesdays with Team of the Week, that would make sense. So keep an eye on TikTok Tamori as he has been labeled. Now, let's talk a little bit about Road to the Knockout cards because, again, I mentioned this earlier in the week, but I think this is probably, for a lot of these cards, as we have seen the first day of games play out, it's probably a time, as these cards are really high up, I would think about getting these cards out of my club, especially if they have another raise or a rise in price because these guys don't have games again until Black Friday. Literally like 20 days from now is when we'll have games again. Fred, of course, went on an absolute roller coaster ride yesterday with Manchester United being down 2-1. to one. They were down 1-0, uh, brought it back, went down 2-1. to one. Looked like they were going to lose. He went down to 330,000 coins. Spiked back to 370, 380, and right now this Fred six at th sits at 360,000 coins. Again, these guys don't play for like 20 more days. Jesus Navas and Sevilla are not looking so hot right now in the group, and he went from 120k down to 94, where he is right now. The only interesting part about this Jesus Navas is is that he is still the best right back in. Uh, La Liga like he's one of the only La Liga right back options especially one with any pace and he's got some of the best links and if a Diego Carlos were to get into team of the week today as Diego Carlos is in both of the foot bin sorry he's not in the foot bin prediction but he's in the foot head prediction uh, and I've seen Diego Carlos's name thrown about that will be an interesting car to keep an eye on it seems like again if we have a Carrasco a Vinny Jr. and a Diego Carlos in the team of the week today some of your La Liga links could get revived, per se, right? Some of those La Liga links could get revived. Um, but again, if you have these cards, like De Young went from 750 to like 800. Now he's kind of like 785. Again, the upgrade is not locked in for like any of these cards, I think, except for Juve and Bayern. I believe that Juve and Bayern both have got, have cl technically clinched with the points that they have winning all their games so far in the group stage. They've clinched. Uh, the knockouts. So Sané is going to get a plus one. Now, if they win one more game, then he'll get a plus two. Um, but again, that, like Marquinhos is 957,000 coins. 967 is what this card is. Now they play today and he's undoubtedly going to get upgraded. But like, I mean, come on, that is crazy, crazy high in price, especially with Black Friday on the horizon and these cards not getting, they're not going to even get upgrades until we get to that Black Friday time frame. I think the safe bet here is to cash out on some of this stuff. And again, I'm going to say this too. Um, I know I was looking at this right before I went and talked about the Cristiano Ronaldo wants to watch, but SBC fodder as well. These have come down a little bit. If we take a look at the index 85, this just shows you with the UEFA marquee matchups that we saw yesterday, you see the index 85 going from 127 points all the way down to 113, 115 where it is right now. Fodder definitely dropped off a little bit yesterday. That's because the supply came in and is starting to overwhelm the demand that we had from that hero upgrade. If these cards, which a lot of them are, still near their extinct price, uh, and these guys are not extinct anymore, but they were, I would still be looking to take the cash on some of these cards. Like Cruz was, I think, like 25, 26K at his absolute peak. Right now, he's still 23. Max Price, sorry, he was never 25 or 26. A couple other 88s were 25 or 26K. Um, but of course, with these guys having price ranges, and they're right now so close to that, that peak price, uh, I would still be looking to cash. We got marquee matchups again coming tomorrow. Big promo this weekend again with promo packs and stuff like that. I would expect to see these guys dropping off on the weekends. And if you look at their graphs, that's what they've been doing. These cards get low on the weekend. They spike up when they have SBCs. They come out, they demand them. Uh, and then again, you see this with Suarez. He went 13K to 18K, back down to 12. Now he's back up and super high at 24K. So I don't expect to see Suarez maybe back down at like 12K uh, again this weekend, but you might see Suarez back down at like, you know, 16, 15, 16,000 coins might be some a buy point for 88s as you get into the weekend. Just kind of think about that, right? Think about that fodder movement as it is looking like the higher tier fodder, the 85s and up could be actually tradable on a weekly basis if we continue to get good content on this game. So keep an eye out today on a couple of those ones to watch cards and those road to the knockouts as well. It's so fun to live trade with these cards in game. Fred had the biggest fluctuation yesterday. Uh, also a quick side note, Varane wants to watch 550 at the moment. Varane wants to watch is down bad at the moment because he left the game yesterday with an injury. So Varane left the game with an injury. This card is so rare 
on this market and on this game that is very interesting to kind of not trade with, uh, but a lot of people sold that card off. So of course, we want to make sure that if his injury is more of a long lasting one, um, that could have long lasting impact on his ones to watch. So I think Ronaldo just got really rare. Yeah, he's 3.1, um, but still Ronaldo hype today. If this card, if he does not get in team of the week, probably going to drop off a little bit in price. Um, and then you will see that price kind of fluctuate down at the moment. If you're trading, all I would be doing is fluctuation trading with some of these cards, maybe buying into the hype of some La Liga links today. I think there will be some people, in, you know, with all the La Liga hype that is in Team of the Week, they might be shouting out some La Liga buys, um, you know, but some of these uh, position change chemistry style cards, I bought a lot of these Casemiro's at like 61, 62K, selling them in the high 60s. Gundawan getting in the low 40s, selling in the high 40s or even 50K. Uh, we had a couple flips yesterday with this Arnold. I bought one at 20 and I bought one at 27, I think. Sold them both at 32 and 33. So there were some good flips to be had there. And of course, we flipped a couple gold cards and I still have some more to sell uh, that I bought during the supply yesterday as well. So that's the video for today, boys. I want to talk about those rule breakers because I do think that, again, those rule breakers just hold a very interesting spot on the market where a lot of these are just in a, in a spot where people will want to upgrade them and put them in their teams and they're just kind of waiting for the time to buy. So I do think that that time to buy is going to be this weekend and you are going to see some of these rule breakers go up in price as people invest in them for their teams. And if you get in before they do, then you will definitely be able to make some profit on these cards as they rise up this weekend. So that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace.